Are parents the key to curbing the opioid epidemic? The Hamburg School District is holding a forum tonight that parents must attend. Now, if they don't show up, the students cannot participate in extracurricular activities in high school. One mother who lost her son to addiction tells Southern Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley tonight that these forums should become standard now for all school districts. Right now, our kids are dying. Is it worth not going? Is it worth taking that chance? It's not. Becky Barnell is now working to raise awareness among parents about the signs and symptoms of drug addiction. For Becky, it is a subject that touches her heart because her 23-year-old son Colton died last June from complications caused by a 10-year addiction that started with pot and alcohol, progressed to pain pills, and ended with heroin. He would be clean, and then he'd relapse, and he would be clean, and then he'd relapse. He hated it. The process mentally was killing him physically was killing him. Colted was a former Hamburg High School student and his mother is sharing her story to encourage parents to learn more. It being a secret is dangerous. Secrets kill people. With the drug epidemic getting worse, Hamburg Central Schools require all eighth grade parents to attend a mandatory drug and alcohol forum. If parents do not go, their children will not be allowed to participate in any high school sports or special activities like proms. We do want to make sure that we are linking arms with parents in, as, as partners. Because the types of drugs available and how they're promoted through social media keeps changing, the district feels parents need new information. To be proactive um, now when the kids are 13, 14, and 15 years old because that's, that's when experimentation begins. There are some who oppose the mandatory aspect, but this heartbroken mother cautions them. They could be saving their own child's life someday and they don't even realize it. A mandatory drug and alcohol parent forum is being held tonight at the high school with another one scheduled for August. In Hamburg, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.